شماها میدونید اما باید یادآوری بکنید بعضی ها خیال میمونند که انقلاب اسلامی یک تقیان و یک شورش و یک حرکت کور بود بعضی ها خیال میکنند ملت ما زندگی خودش رو میکرد در یک مقتعی یک باره به خاطر ظلم و حکومت تابوت قیام کرد انقلاب اسلامی برپا شد و امام آمد از احساسات مردم استفاده کرد جمهوری اسلامی رو برپا کرد بعضی ها اینجور تحریز میکنند که ادهی برای کسب قدرت حرکت کردند از احساسات مردم استفاده کردند یک سلسله رو کنار زدن حالا مناس یک سلسله حکومتی دیگری در این کشور برپا می شود Most Americans don't know is that in 1976, President Jimmy Carter orchestrated the change of power in Iran that replaced the Shah of Iran with a government led by Ayatollah Khomeini. I tell the entire shocking story about this in my new book, Jimmy Carter, The Liberal Left in World Chaos. I detail how a single decision made in the name of false hope changed the entire structure of the Muslim world and led to the establishment of the fanatical extremist movement that is responsible for terrorism around the world today. The former president of the United States supported the funding of an Islamic cleric who attempted to assassinate America's strongest Muslim ally, the Shah of Iran, and birth an Islamic revolution. Sums of $150 million were being periodically transferred to Paris into the Ayatollah Khomeini's bank account while he was in exile with the assistance of the CIA. Carter told world leaders at a summit meeting of his plan to overthrow the Shah of Iran and that Khomeini would be taking over and was a Gandhi-like figure. On April 1st of the following year, this Gandhi-like figure proclaimed the first day of the government of God in Iran. It was the birth of the Islamic Revolution. On Inauguration Day 1980 at 4.31 a.m., he secretly wire-transferred $7.9 billion to buy the American hostages back after 144 days of humiliation. He could have planned all this, masterminded all this, set up all the organization. I know that one man alone could not have done it. This I know. I know that tremendous amount of money was spent. This also I know. I know that top uh, experts in propaganda were used to show us like tyrants, tyrants and monsters and the other side as uh, uh, democratic, liberal revolutionaries who wanted to uh, save the country. I know how mean uh, the BBC, British Broadcasting Corporation, had been towards us. This I know, because we have all the files. Were you surprised uh, how much freedom he had uh, to speak out in, uh, in France? Uh, in a way, yes. In another way, we thought that wherever he would be in Europe probably he would have had the same opportunities of speaking and the same staff would be around him because I don't think that he himself was planning the planning was done somewhere else where do you think the planning was done? well that's the question علامت سواله و اگر حقوق بشر همونطوری که گفتم برای آقای کارتر مطرح بود چطور شد موقع که شاه رفت دیگه ایرانی حقوق نداشت که اصلا هیچ وقت حرف نزد خب تمام این چیزها بود دیگه و فقط فکر نمی کنم که پریزیدنت کارتر ها رو به چه دلیلی ولی خب 
همه میدونن که اون موقع انگلیس بی بی سی شده بود بلنگوی آیت الله خمینی تمام نطخایشون رو به طرفیشون پیش از اینکه به گوش ایرانیا برسونه میرسون چرا اینقدر امکانات تبلیغاتی بهش دادن